We are here with Phil Marsh for our first interview. Uh, Phil, what is your job at West Michigan Band? I am a guitar instructor. How long have you been doing that for here? I think it's going on three years. How long have you been teaching guitars? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I think I've been teaching for 35 years or so. Wow. Um, what would you say is your favorite part of working at West Michigan Band? The people. The people? Great people around here, yeah. What has made you so interested in the music industry? I grew up around music and uh, I kind of developed a passion, I guess, probably from my dad, who's a piano player. Uh, and then uh, he had a music store and uh, there was a fellow that was teaching at his music store when I was young who said to me, he watched as he would teach, he watched me. He said, you get your dad to buy a guitar and I'll give you free lessons. That's all that took. So about two weeks later, I had a guitar. Um, do you have any hobbies other than uh, working? Other than playing, sure. Um, I love to cook. I like to travel. I like to camp. Um, and uh, I'm a big family guy. Is there anything else you would like us to know about you? Like uh, your world-famous band that you're in? or? Yeah, I do have a group called The Hip Pocket. Uh, it's 12 members, it's a horn band, and uh, you can visit our webpage at hip-pocket.com or Facebook, The Hip Pocket, and just see some videos, and see what we're about, but uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun. We've been together for 25 years now, and uh, we've done all sorts of things. Opened up for Blue Oyster Cult, uh, Patti LaBelle, uh, Chaka Khan, The Four Tops, Temptations, Don Rickles, get all the other step and wolf, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, thank you for taking time to do this interview. Uh, everybody come check out Phil. He does great lessons, and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you.